Accurate Weather with Kelly Simek. Good morning, everybody. The system in the eastern Pacific that we've been tracking the past couple of days did strengthen as expected and is now Tropical Storm Hector. Now, this system is forecast to continue to approach the state, and as of right now, forecast models are showing the system staying a bit more defined and a bit more intact as it approaches the state. So there's a good chance that this could be a threat to us here in Hawaii. So I'll continue to track this. As of right now, forecast models do have this maintaining its strength and passing just to the south of the state. State, but it is looking like we're going to be seeing some impacts from this system. I'll continue to track it and keep you updated. But here's the official track from the central or from the National Hurricane Center. Hasn't quite crossed into our waters. Once it does on Sunday, then it'll be in the Central Pacific, and our Hurricane Center over here is going to be taking over. But as of right now, it's forecast to strengthen to a Category One hurricane in the coming days, and then by this weekend, taken strengthen even more so, reaching Category Two strength by the ending of the weekend, and then pass just to the south of the state. Now, this is a far out forecast. With it reaching us, it looks like potentially as early as Wednesday for Hawaii Island, uh, if not Friday. So we'll continue to track this. It's a far out forecast, so likely the track as well as the intensity is going to be changing, but definitely going to be keeping a very close eye on this one. So stay tuned to K2N. We'll have the latest. Well, what we're going to be seeing here back at home, as you can see, a cloudy start to the day, but we are expecting a lot of sunshine. There's some blue skies out there we can see, and if you can tell, occasionally the camera shakes. It's a Windy out there. Our winds have picked up even more so. We're going to be seeing our winds blowing up to about 30 miles an hour for today. That's thanks to the high pressure system that's to our north. High clouds, as you can see, streaming over the state from the west. So that's what's keeping a bit extra sky cover. Partly to mostly sunny skies expected for leeward sections. Partly sunny thanks to those high clouds. And then partly to mostly cloudy for the windward side. Still going to be seeing scattered showers there. More widespread rainfall is expected over the weekend. And then we'll clear out a bit more at the start of next work week. All right, that's looking at your weather. I'll send it on out to Surf News Network's Gary Cooley, who has everything you need to know about your surf today. Hey, good morning, Gary. Hey, good morning, Kelly. Welcome to August. Well, guess what? Makapu'u's top of the list with these winds. Four footers out there stacking up. Uh, Sandy Beach, powerful, two to three. Again, like steel on those wedges. And over there at Diamond Head, it's two to three as well, but it's a uh, Ripped apart, a big furball mess. Out <laughs> down, one to two plus. There's some shoulder high waves coming through to Magic Island as well. And out there to White Plains, one to two plus. Makaha's mostly a foot in the North Shore as well. A 15 to 30 all the way through Friday with those small craft advisories tagging along. And it's even going to stay windy over the weekend, but just down a notch. And we're looking at a high tide right now going low at noon. Our sun's going to set 710 and rise these days at 604. So lots of swell coming. So August looks like it's going to rock and roll. That's the update. Green Tea Hawaii. Join the loyal tea membership. You'll save plenty in the name of health and benefit your body. GreenTeaHawaii.com. All right, Chris, over to you. Have a great Wednesday.